Back now at 810 with the latest chapter in Sharla Nash's amazing recovery. In May, she underwent a groundbreaking facial transplant more than two years after being attacked and nearly killed by a friend's chimpanzee. We're about to see Sharla's new face for the very first time. And while some of the images you may be seeing now may be disturbing, the transformation really is remarkable. NBC's Jeff Rossin is now joining us with the story. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Ann. Good morning. Charla Nash was attacked right up this driveway behind me, and it was violent. Travis the chimp ripped off her face and her hands. Her mere survival, a medical miracle, but turns out that wouldn't be the only miracle. Two and a half years later, countless surgeries later, Charla Nash has a new face. And this morning, you're about to see it for the first time. The transformation has been difficult to watch from beautiful, vibrant mother to helpless victim, disfigured and unrecognizable. After the attack, Charla Nash wore a veil to cover herself. Travis the Chimp came at her with such force, Charla never stood a chance. He's killing my friend! Who's killing your friend? Chimp, my chimpanzee! The chimp took off Charla's nose, mouth, and hands and left her permanently blind. Doctors saved her life, but wouldn't stop there, attempting the country's first ever double hand and face transplants. Charla spoke with NBC News just weeks before her life-changing operation. Getting my face and hand together, that would be nice. All in the room, being able to do everything on my own. These are the first images of Charla's new face revealed this morning for the first time. Her brother and teenage daughter Brianna were at the hospital when the bandages came off. And the progress is stunning. This photo was taken just after the surgery two months ago. And this is Charla today. The swelling has gone down and her new face has molded to her bone structure. Well, I think she's pretty impatient as to recovery. But, um, but she's recovering very well. She, her speech is getting much better. She's been getting up and she's starting to eat. Charla is still too weak to give an interview, but told us, I'm beginning to feel my jaw and chin and I can move my mouth and smile. Can she smell you? Yeah, good yeah. Really? Yeah, can you smell Charlie? Yeah. Wow. Charla is also breathing on her own now. And remember, she hasn't eaten solid food since the attack. Her first meal with her new face, eggs with cream cheese. I still feel weak, Charla told us, but little by little, I'm getting stronger. Charla has been doing very well. She has met all her milestones so far and has been stronger every day, both mentally and physically. The surgery took more than a dozen doctors and lasted 20 hours. There were complications, though, after the operation, and Charla's new hands had to be removed. But her new face took and has already changed her life. Today, Charla is in intensive therapy, and for the first time since the attack, she's able to do things that most of us take for granted. Eating, talking, smelling. Doctors aren't exactly sure when she'll have full function back in her face. All depends on her progress, but so far they like what they see. And for Charla's family, there's new hope after years of such pain. Anne?